Hello, my name is Paul Cooper, the creator of Property Pal. As the owner of a property management company, my team and I created this idea for simplifying the more tedious parts of our job, move-ins. This app is already making our office more efficient and even saving us money. So what started as a program to help my office out has developed into a user-friendly app that we would like to share with other companies across the nation. This introductory video is all you need to get familiar with Property Pal and start using it for your walkthroughs today. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel and website as more features and versions are released. Property management just became fun. Let's get started by personalizing your settings. Select settings and we'll start by entering the company name. Everything you type in settings will show up on every inspection you do. Next, you do have the option to enter your lead inspector's name, but it's not required. And finally, enter your company logo by selecting it from the photo album. Then hit save and continue. Now let's try a move in. First hit the new move in button on top. Then you'll be asked to enter the address. At that point you can attach a picture of the property or leave it blank. Enter the address of the home you are inspecting. Notice the inspection has been date stamped for you, which is permanent. You can also change the inspector's name at this point. Hit done and submit. Here you can enter as many residents or co-signers as needed. By clicking on the bottom left corner labeled add resident, this eventually will go into the database when it's complete. All the email addresses you enter at this stage will be saved and already entered on the email of each inspection, making it easy to send to residents. If there is a resident change during the lease, by hitting the bottom button labeled delete resident, you can remove residents by selecting the X next to their name. You can delete and add as many residents as needed. When you complete it, hit continue. This takes us to the actual inspection. Let's start with the outside entryway and adding an item. In the top right corner hit the edit button. You'll notice an open space at the bottom. Type in whatever item needs to be added. Select done on the keyboard and done in the right top corner. Now with each item you select, you can mark its conditions. So the table is clean and intact, but is scratched. Hit save and continue. Notice the check mark on the right. That shows you've already inspected that item. Any item that isn't marked doesn't appear on the report. So if there isn't a light outside, don't fill out that section and it won't show up on the report. Watch as we make our way through the inspection. On the window section, let's try adding a picture. It's easy. In the lower left hand corner, select add a picture. If you have one already in your album, use that. Or you can take a new picture. Find the right shot, hit the camera button. You have the option of using the picture or retaking it. Use is on the right hand side. Hit the button in the upper left corner to get back to the condition of the window. When done, select save and continue. Let's try adding a room. On the bottom left corner you'll see add room. Select it and you have three options. We're going to add a bedroom. You'll be prompted to name the bedroom. After naming it, hit done on keyboard and done in the upper right hand corner. You'll notice you'll have all items already added for a bedroom, ready to be marked. When you've completed all items that apply to the home, select continue at the bottom. Select Export PDF. You'll notice the move-in inspection and the option to include the pictures you took. Hit Create PDF. You'll be prompted to view the PDF, which is suggested, but not necessary. Here's what the first inspection report will look like, with time, date, logo, legend, notes, and pictures. Also with an option to have it printed and signed. If satisfied, hit, back, hit the Back button on the bottom left corner. Now we can email the report by selecting the middle bottom button. 
As you can see, the resident's email addresses we entered at the beginning are already pre-filled in. You also have the option to add more email addresses. Hit send and select done on the bottom right corner to return to the main menu. In the case you need to modify the report, for example, adding new carpet or a new fridge, select saved inspections. Select the address you'd like to modify. You can either view it, which is read only, or allow for a modification. In this case, in the outside entryway, a new light fixture was installed. We'll add that to our notes. Select save and continue. Create the PDF and under notes you'll see the date stamped modification. At this point, you can email it or save it and return to the main menu. If your state requires pre-inspections and your resident chooses to do one, it is done in the same manner as the move-in. Select pre-inspection. You'll have a list of addresses of the homes that are eligible for pre-inspections. Select the address. Hit submit and continue if you don't need to make adjustments to the residents. Work your way through the inspection. Note, for continuity, the only items that show up there are the ones that were marked during the move-in. You cannot add any additional items. Notes and pictures can be added to this report as well. Hit continue when done. Now, you see the move-in and the pre-inspection, which can both be, be included in the PDF report or unselect the move-in to send the pre-inspection on its own. Create the PDF. You have the option to view it. Now you can compare move-in conditions to the pre-inspection conditions all in one report. All pictures and notes from both inspections are included. Select back and email the PDF report. When the time comes for the move out, hit move out. You will select the address of the move out, confirm the residence, and continue. Go ahead and complete your inspection. You can still add notes and pictures. And again, only the items filled out on the move-in inspection will carry over through the pre-inspection and on the move out. Hit continue when you're finished. Then go ahead and export the PDF. You'll have options to select which reports can be included and if you want to include the pictures. Then hit Create PDF. Go ahead and view it and notice all three inspections on one report. You'll have an extremely clean and detailed report ready to be emailed to the residents, your property manager, owners, maintenance staff, cleaners, painters, and anyone else needing the report. Select Back to email the PDF and hit Send.